Congratulations on the film and your Thank terrific you. performance in it. Thank you, um, Could we start with a, a brief introduction of the character of Marisol? Yeah, sure. So um, Marisol is, uh, you know, she's a Mexican woman that comes into the neighborhood and barges into this very, you know, strict neighborhood from the point view of Otto. And she comes in with her family and uh, they have this... Well, energy of a f busy family and she's pregnant, so they come in with all that force and energy and and they kind of come in and and connect with Otto and and, and build this this bridge so that Otto also learns how to open up again and, and connect to life. So to his um, life and his own internal life as well. This film is obviously the first English language adaptation, but the second uh, screen adaptation overall of a uh, Frederick uh, Backman's Backman. uh, uh -huh. novel. Yeah. Um, were you familiar at all with the story before you were, became involved in this production? Yeah, I wasn't, I, I wasn't. Um, and when I read the book before started filming, I that was my first uh, connection to it. And the book is great. I mean, he really makes, um, he, he really knows how to draw emotion from the reader, which is rare sometimes, you know, to be really connected to the emotional outbursts throughout and, and kind of like the, the transit and the process of the character. So it's really beautifully written. What are the sort of elements of the story when, when you first came into contact with it? What, what were the elements that really attracted you to want to get involved? In, yeah, in this I loved uh, the, the comedy. I loved reading comedy. I mean, it's rare to, to read mm. well-written comedy in a novel. And I loved it because it was just uh, down to earth everyday common things, you know, and little things, conversation things that were just so funny, the way they, the interactions between the characters were endearing and, uh, and, and funny. And then there were uh, just really um, moving kind of reflections um, on the process. I, I just love the narrative voice, you know, like it, you see the characters reacting and then kind of the analysis of the feeling, but not so rationally, just describing these processes of lives. And I just thought he has just really a lot of insight in, 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 in detecting with a good eye what's going on in certain moments in life, you know, mm. and, and kind of explaining that, but not in a, an explanatory m m manner, I'm sorry, um, but rather in a you know, in a way that you get it easily emotionally as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and obviously, all of these things are, you know, channeled through very clearly defined characters. Mm -hmm. And your character's uh, boisterous energy is obviously the antithesis to Otto's, you know, quite desperately de depressed disposition. Yeah. And that, in, you know, in, in many ways, is the heart of the the tension and the balance in the film. Mm. Um, what was it like, sort of developing that tension and that balance with with uh, Hanks during this production? Um, well, it was very, a very down to earth kind of approach where we each worked our own things of our characters. We, you know, did our lines. We got a couple of times together to do our lines, but we each kind of worked our characters. And when we met, we threw it out there and just met halfway, you know, and, and, and we were meeting for the first time and with our characters as well. We didn't have a lot of like rehearsals before in character. We just had a couple of readings um, of the whole script together, and then we just did lines, and and that was that. And in the and, and in the scenes, uh, we just tried to play it very well, not do our own thing. Sometimes you know you get entrapped and you're doing your own thing. So we were always really playing with the other with each other, what the other was going through, and. And this creates like a very honest, you know, yeah. way of working and connecting. So in many ways, you're kind of figuring out those dynamics on the set. Yes, we, yeah. yes, yes. We, yeah. we didn't do it so much before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, just one final thing that I wanted to ask is because many of the productions that you have been involved in mm -hmm. have been, uh, you know, Spanish language productions yes. and smaller scale productions than this. Is there a difference from the way that you approach a character when you're involved in, you know, a big sort of Hollywood production mm -hmm. with a global icon like Tom Hanks, or, yeah. or is it the same approach? It, it's basically the same because the work that you, what you have to figure out is the same and there's no formula really. I mean, you have to, each character has its own little path and you have to discover it. And so your attention is there. 
in trying to make the character, where is it going through and you have to follow it around and then you have to catch up to him and kind of go together. And, um, and that's really the base. The bases are the same for each culture. You know, at least in my experience with this movie, it was wonderful to see Mr. Hanks, that is, you know, such a big star and such an experienced actor, doing the basics, you know, like waiting on the side, learning, doing his lines, just waiting, being very um, patient about going on stage, sitting on an apple box while everybody was moving around and just concentrating. I mean, um, yeah, it's very, it's almost very like, the beginnings of, the, you know, theatrical in that sense. You're just concentrating, you're doing. And you see that and it's very inspiring because you realize how you have to love your craft so much and you always have to respect it and do it uh, with a lot of respect. And, and he's an example of that. And it's just really great to see. Well, it's been great speaking to you. Thanks so Thank much you, for your Matthew. time. Thank you, Matthew. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.